What's up? So I'm sitting here watching or re-watching the uh, Atlanta game um, just because, you know, I, I record them and I like to uh, just kind of look for little things that I can, um, mostly on our end, not really what they do, but um, anyway, just seeing the, 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 the banner, the Super Bowl banner being unveiled again that was that's always nice but anyway man um going into week two at tampa um i i still feel good about what we can do down there i mean nobody expected them to go to new orleans and drop 48 on them and then leave with that win but they did and they had a heck of an offensive game, man. They, I mean, boy, Fitzpatrick, he he went, I don't know, some, he, 21 for 28 or something like that, uh, 417 yards and uh, four passing touchdowns. And then he also ran in for a rushing touchdown. So, I mean, he's a beast, man. He's a beast. Um, as a backup. I mean, you don't, you know, he gets a bad rap sometimes, I guess, for being a backup and bouncing from team to team. But when you've been in the league as long as he has, he's good. I mean, he is. So very capable of stepping in for Jameis Winston because of his suspension. Um, and he's not, he's not a quarterback to take lightly. Obviously, he showed that. Um, so... You know, it is what it is. And then they didn't really do much on the on the ground, though. Like, their rushing game was pretty much non-existent. I mean, their rushing attack, <laughs> I am that is the least of my worries from Tampa. We can, we can hold them on the ground, man. Like, that's not a worry. Deshaun Jackson, Mike Evans, they're the threats offensively. Um, and they both had big games against New Orleans. They both had well over 100 yards. Deshaun Jackson had two touchdowns. Mike Evans had one. Um, so they're, they're, a th they're a threat, man. Now, I, I didn't see the entire game. I didn't watch the entire game. Um, but I did see where Deshaun got hurt. And I'm assu I, I didn't get the details of his injury, honestly, and I didn't really follow up on it. I, from what it looked like, I guess it could have been like a concussion. Um, I might be wrong on that. But if that is the case, he might not play next week. We'll see. I don't know. I, I haven't. I'm gonna look that up after I make this video. Should have done that the other way around, but oh well. It is what it is. I'm making a video now. So. Um. But anyway. Um. With that being said, as great of an as an offensive game that they had against New Orleans, they equally had a horrible game defensively. They gave up 40 points. Uh. Drew Brees threw the ball all over the field on him. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not worried about... We, we will score points on Tampa. It's just a matter of slowing their offensive da uh, offense down, which I think we can. I don't think that Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to have the same kind of game against us as he did yesterday in New Orleans. No way. No way. No way. So, he might have a, he might have a good game an okay game, but I, he's not going to have the type of game he had yesterday against us. He's just not. Um, I mean, our defense is way better than, than New Orleans. They're not, I'm not knocking New Orleans. They're, they don't have a bad defense by no means, but, well, yesterday they did, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel confident. I feel very confident about going into Tampa this week they they have a lot of momentum going for them though um and they're definitely going to try to carry that momentum over into week two against us we already have it like i said this before and i'll continue to say this we've we we have a target on our back that every team will give us 150,000 percent when they play us every team on our schedule no matter how, how good or bad they are so this this year, man, I'm not taking 
anybody lightly. I'm not taking anybody lightly. So I'm expecting a, a, a tough game against Tampa, but it's not going to be a tough game. It's not going to come down to the last play like Atlanta. It's not going to come down to the last drive, I don't think. But I do expect us to win that game in a hard-fought victory. I, I do expect that. So, man, I, I just like <laughs> The game. I just turned the game on a few minutes ago, and yeah, it's second and goal. It's that first possession where we stop him on uh, fourth and goal, man. Uh, yeah, I I like it, man. So we'll see, man. I I, I feel good against Tampa. So just, I mean, these are just early thoughts, man, of uh, the game. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm going to try to put out another video later in the week, being a little bit more detailed maybe. Um, but yeah, man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this, this game coming up. I'm hoping uh, the reports that have been coming out the last few days are about Carson Wentz are true. Nothing confirmed yet, nothing official, but there are reports coming out that Carson Wentz could be coming back for week three for the Colts game. Um, and if that's the case, I, I, I hope so, man. Because I think I feel like this with Carson. The sooner we get him back, like the earlier in the season, he, he'll, he'll probably be rusty a little bit just because he hasn't had game action at all since last year against the Rams. So, you know, it, when he does come back, he... I'm expecting him to be a little rusty, a little slow, but I'd rather have that as early as possible in the season and then get it going, man, through the longevity part of the season and into the playoffs and hopefully back to the Super Bowl. That way we could just be clicking on all cylinders, man, with, with him. Just get it, get it going. So I'm hoping these reports are true. Week three, he'll, he'll be back. And, uh, gosh, that, that was a nice stop, man. But, um, you know, I, I'm just, I, 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 I can't wait for Alshon to come back. Definitely a big threat, obviously. So, that's it, man. I, I, I just, quick thoughts, man, quick thoughts. Um, yeah, man. So, that being said, we're 1-0. Tied with Washington for first place. Um, and then the Redskins and Giants are, I mean, I'm sorry, the Cowboys and the Giants are 0-1, which, man, Dak, man, okay, so, the, <laughs> Dak is horrible, man, Dak is horrible, and, and, and for, for the Cowboys fans that have been saying that Dak is better than Carson Wentz, man, you guys... You, you guys are just something else. After watching that game yesterday, and that game I did watch, he threw that ball in the dirt so many times. Like, he's, he's, he's just, man. So anyway. <sighs> Dak. Dak is trash. Anyway, we're 1-0. 2-0 on the way, hopefully. Go Birds.